Hello, this is Tyler White. Today, we are gonna do our three-part video series covering the production of a spindle, a hearthboard, and a bow for a bow drill. This video is going to cover the hearth board. Hello, this is Tyler White. I'm going to show you in this series how to make a hearth board. We've got another video that shows you how to make the bow and the socket, and another video that shows you how to make the spindle. This is going to be just focusing on the hearth board so that you can get it right. Now, I talked in the other video about wood selection. I'm making this this kit all out of cottonwood. Cottonwood grows all over the US. That's why I like to use it. But what is more important is the attributes of the cottonwood than the fact that it's cottonwood. Because if you go to a place that doesn't have cottonwood, uh, like for instance, I went to Columbia in the jungle. They definitely don't have cottonwood down there, but they had bamboo and the, the base of the bamboo was dense. And I've never until then made a bow drill, but I, I, I created a successful bow drill. Yo, what were you telling me? I'll tell you in a second. In Colombia, in the jungle, with the base of bamboo, because I knew that the most important thing was the attribute, which is this. If you run your thumb across it, it leaves a mark, okay? So if it's soft enough to leave a mark, then it's soft enough to make a quality bow drill. That doesn't mean that you can't make bow drills out of hardwoods. It just means it's easier if you find something that is standing dead and gray and made out of material soft enough that you can, you can uh, bust a coal with it. Now, if you are going to use different materials, try to make them similar woods, like a soft wood on a soft wood. If you use a hard spindle on a soft hearth board, you're just gonna drill a hole through it really quick. You're not gonna be able to bust a coal easily. <clears throat> it can be done, but why bother if you, know, if, you, if you can just do it right? So spend your time, collect the right material, and go from there. The first thing that I like to try to do is if I have soft wood that's got a pre-existing split in it, I like to split it, baton it, whatever we're gonna do. This does not appear to have a pre-existing split in it, so I'm gonna just have to crack it. Um, take this off real quick. This makes it a little easier for me to control it. Okay. Now, if you don't have a pre-existing split, what you can do is you can find yourself a good center point, baton with your hatchet or whatever you're gonna do. You can get it started and crack it down on the ground. But the key is to get it fat enough in the middle that you can actually work with what you create. You gotta get access to the center here. I went and grabbed myself a batoning stick. I just found a dead branch, stuck it between the limb and another tree, broke it off. Now I've got a batoning stick. The problem with trying to baton without a batoning stick or a log to take the weight is the dirt absorbs all the impact. Doesn't give me the ability to split this. And cottonwood is kind of grippy. It'll, uh, it'll hold really, really well. So now, That's some pretty gummy wood. All right, starting to get my split. Now, if I wanna continue this, I can't hit the wood, so what I need to do is put a wedge inside of it. So I'll put a wedge right in here. I'm gonna make a wedge real quick, we can split it, or I can just try to split it. This probably isn't gonna work. Let's see if I can do it this way. Yep, 
Yep. Get pulling apart. Okay. So now that I got my two pieces split, getting hot. What I can do is now process this. It can either be one giant hearth board, chop it in half, make two hearth boards, use the other piece on the top as a socket if I want. That's one method that I'll mention in the other video. So keep it if you can. Now what I need to do is to turn this into a two before, okay? Or better stated to turn this into a square or a rectangle. I want it, if I can, to be as thick as a hearth board. I'm sorry, as, as thick as the spindle, if not to be close. Which means that I'm gonna have to take this layer off and just use the centerpiece, because this isn't the hugest chunk of wood. So the way I like to remove wood with a hatchet is to cut through all the fibers on the way up and then take them all off. That works like this. Okay, cut through them up. Now take them off. This will save you crazy amounts of time, a little knot right there. Okay, let's flip it over so I don't cut my fingers. Cut up. Cut down. And we planed it. Let's flip it over. Notice I'm keeping my leg away from it. That whole cut your femoral artery thing sucks. Cut up. Slide down. Make sure that knot. Now let's clean the back up so that we can lay it flat on the ground. And you can do this on the tip end of a tree. You don't have to break it off. I mean, you can find a tipped over tree and bust a coal out of it if you want. Chop that knot off. Basically what I want this to do is to lie flat on the ground so that when I'm running my bow drill later, it will, uh, not walk on me. It's a little thinner than I wanted. It's also got a little bit of a tilt here. So I'm gonna take this last chunk off. Spin cut the fibers. There you go. Now that's the ugly rough version. I'm going to clean it up a bit and we will have an okay version of a, uh, a hearth board. So in order to clean that up, just going to put it nice and tall, run that down, take these chunks out, make it nice and flat. Take that skin off there. And then I want to clean this top up because it's it's got a ridge down the center of it that didn't quite split with the rest of it. I want it to be flat so that it won't cause my spindle to walk out when I'm driving it. Notice I'm always cutting away from my body. And down. Okay, that is the basics of how to make a hearth board, all right? So now, we'll show you where we're gonna go from here. Essentially, what I'll do is I will pick a spot in the center or wherever, I'll do a burn in on it, so grab that, do my burn in, cut a notch, bust a coal, bust a coal, bust a coal all the way up. Ideally, I wanna go much wider on this but this will work. So this is a, a simple version of how to make a hearth board. I chose material that is the same material for the hearth board as I did for the spindle um, from the same plant. Um, I try to get a bigger spindle if you can, but you take what the environment gives you sometimes. I'm sorry, bigger hearth board. 
and go from there. All right, guys, hopefully this is valuable to you. The next step will be to make a bow. I've created the spindle, created the hearth board. Now I need a bow and a socket. Again, I can chop this off and that can be my upper socket or there's many other awesome natural uh, options that I can show you. But this is how you make a hearth board. Hopefully this is valuable to you and thank you for watching. It's like it's hot or something. <laughs>